What's happening around the world? It's time for another serving of news bites. 最近国内外发生哪些大事？午餐搭配 ISRT News Bites， 慢慢的一口接一口，吸收最新时事和趣闻。Hi there, and welcome to a new episode of News Bites. I'm Nancy Sun, and I'm Hope Go. In today's news, delicious food in Taiwan, culture and history in Africa. And how thinking makes us feel. All that and more coming up next. Top of Taiwan. 米其林公布台北、台中、台南、高雄摘星餐厅名单。Michelin Guide Taipei, Taichung, Tainan, Kaohsiung 2022 released. Food plays a big part of our lives. Do you enjoy eating yummy food? Many people know Michelin as a worldwide tire company from France. 很多人都知道米其林是法国有名的轮胎公司 And some know that they are also the guide for finding great restaurants. 有些人知道可以透过米其林的餐厅名单找到美食 If Michelin gives a restaurant a star, it means it is a very good restaurant. And now, Michelin is giving Taipei, Taichung, and Kaohsiung's restaurants some stars. A total of twenty-four restaurants in Taipei have stars. Taichung has five restaurants that have stars. Kaohsiung has two restaurants that have stars. Those restaurants not only include Taiwanese cuisine, but also French, Singaporean, Japanese, and even Mediterranean cuisine. 地中海料理 and they all look so nice. Maybe we should go try them out. Going global. 阿克拉博物馆展现非洲文化历史。Africa Museum to be one of the world's greatest sites. What do you know about Africa? It's the second biggest continent in the world. 非洲是世界面积第二大的大洲 The continent is so big that it covers twenty percent of the Earth. There is a lot of wildlife and beautiful natural scenery. 自然风光 It seems like there is a lot to learn about Africa. In fact, there's going to be a big museum opening in Africa soon. The Pan African Heritage Museum is in Accra, Ghana. Ghana 的首都阿克拉 It is still being built and will open in August 2023. Not only will it have many African archives, but also galleries and a theater. 博物馆里不仅会存放许多非洲历史档案，还会有画廊和电影院 It will show African history and people's heritage. People believe it will be one of the top 100 world's greatest places to visit. There is a digital version. 首位影像 of the museum that will come out soon on May fifth. This way, people can get a first look at the museum from anywhere in the world. Today's feature. 思考让你很累吗 Why thinking makes us feel tired? Sometimes thinking can make us tired. This may be why. Scientists found out that when we think, our brain releases a chemical called glutamate, fuanxuan. If we have too much glutamate in the brain, then our brain does not work very well. That's when the brain tells the body it is tired, and it needs a rest. A group of scientists from Paris did an experiment. They gave forty people a task, 任务工作 All of them had to look at a computer screen and match different letters that appeared. They had to do this for six hours. They only had two 
ten-minute breaks. 休息 But there was something a little bit different about their tasks. Twenty-four people had tasks that were a little bit harder. The other sixteen had tasks that were a little bit easier. 二十四个实验对象得到的问题比较难，另外十六位得到的问题比较简单。Then the researchers scanned Shao Miao their brains. Here's what they found: the group who had harder tasks had higher levels of glutamate in their brain. That means they thought a lot more. So, what do we do when we feel tired? And the brain needs to rest. We can take a quick nap. 小睡片刻 It's called the power nap. The recap. So, in today's news bites. Michelin is giving Taipei, Taichung, and Gaoxiong's restaurants some stars. Some of the restaurants that got stars make Taiwanese cuisine. Other starred restaurants make French, Singaporean, Japanese, and even Mediterranean cuisine. The Pan African Heritage Museum is in Accra, Ghana. It will open in August of 2023. It will show African history and people's heritage. And sometimes thinking can make us tired. Scientists found out that when we think, our brain releases a chemical called glutamate. If there is too much glutamate, our brain does not work very well. And that's today's episode of News Bites. This week, we want you to have your say about being a space explorer. Going out into space is a dream for many people. The idea of going to other planets might seem really exciting to some people, but it might seem scary and dangerous to others. If you were asked to volunteer to go out into space and explore another planet, would you go? Record your message and send it to Newsbites n e w s b i t e s at i c r t dot com dot t w with your name and age, and if you'd like the name of your school. Make sure to send us your recording by Thursday at noon, and you might hear your message on our show on Friday. ICRT 与教育部国民及学前教育署下次继续和您聊新闻。ICRT app 和网站也能重复收听。More local and international news next time on News Bites, brought to you by the K-12 Education Administration. Find past episodes available on the ICRT website and app.